Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I am hosting the 2019 Christmas Tablescape and Entertaining Collaboration. Now I've teamed up with a group of wonderfully talented women, and we are going to bring you some awesome ideas that will cover various budgets and various uh, styles, so there should be something for everyone. I will be leaving the playlist link for the collaboration down in the description box. So once you finish watching this video, make sure that you head over to all of the other ladies' channels and check out their videos. So I would suggest that you go ahead and pour yourself a drink, get you a nice cozy blanket, sit back, relax, and let us take you on a journey. So what I'll be sharing today is my Starbucks Christmas cocktail themed bar. And I'm going to walk you through the bar, share with you some of the DIYs that I put together for this bar, and then give you some entertaining tips in case you would like to set up your own cocktail themed bar. Here's an overview of the bar. I wanted my bar to serve three functions. I want it to be a daily coffee and hot chocolate bar for my immediate family. I also wanted it to be an adult beverage bar for game night that we're going to host during the holidays. And then also I wanted it to be a coffee bar for overnight guest. I will be using this setup for the entire holiday season and I will share in a separate video how I co how I quickly convert this bar to meet my needs. I made quite a few DIYs starting with this wreath deer combination. Now I took an old green 36 inch wreath that I had and I added some picks and a velvet bow to it to breathe new life into it for only $12. Then I strung up with fishing wire, the metal deer head in the center. My daughter did the Starbuck letters at the top of the picture frame and I think it turned out beautifully. I added a bow to my everyday Ikea storage boxes to jazz them up for the holidays. I designed a custom logo and used it throughout the bar. That's an economical way to incorporate your theme, especially if you do not have a lot of specialty pieces. A bar is in a bar without some drinks. So we had both cocktails and mocktails and our guests or family members could choose whatever they like. When you're setting up your bars, you wanna make sure that you have various types of glasses so that it could add to the overall appeal of your bar and that doesn't have to break the bank. Most all the glasses that you see here can be found at the Dollar Tree with the exception of a few specialty glasses. I'll be making a separate video sharing all of the items on this bar that are from Dollar Tree or thrifted. Now in order to make your bar festive, your um, cocoa bar or your beverage bar festive, you need to come up with some really cool toppers and stirrers and things like that. Now these gingerbread men are super cute hanging off the side of a cup. You just take a little bit of icing and a mini candy cane and voila. It takes your gingerbread man drink up a notch. And then if you have like the Polar Express drink, it's really cute to just go ahead and make some Polar Bear marshmallow toppers. These are very simple and easy to make. And then you can do a snowflake, a peppermint snowflake topper. And then I had a drink called the Santa Gria. You can just take a little Santa and stick, you know, hot glue, a little stirrer on the back, and that can be your Santa Gria stirrer. Or you could take some jingle bells and attach those to a stirrer, and then you have your jingle juice drink. So you could use white cotton candy. I have this tub of uh, cotton candy snow here. You can put that in a drink and you can name it something and when you pour your drink on it'll just melt that uh, snow right away. You can always use your tried and true candy canes as stirrers. So you can just get creative with the ways you're going to dress up your drinks. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see how I made some of these drinks in a separate video. So when we get together for our Starbucks cocktail night. Well, you always want to have some sort of an inter entertainment. So I'm going to come up with some reindeer games. And this room that I'm in now is kind of like our parlor room, game room. And we just have a ton of games, but we get them that, the games that look like furniture or very elegant games so it could blend in with the room. And 
So what I did was I picked up these big bucks uh, chocolate bars because they fit into our theme. And you know, I like big bucks and I cannot lie. So this will be one of the gag gifts. And so whoever wins the game, they'll get one of these. And then on the back, I'll attach a few bucks for the winner. The next thing I do when I am hosting is I want to make sure I touch upon all the five senses and smell is a big part of that and I have this beautifully scented espresso coffee and caramel candle. It's by one of my favorite um, candle makers, um, makers of waxed goods and this smells divine so this would be perfect for you know after christmas morning if you did the um you know coffee and hot cocoa station have that burning i mean this is just a fabulous candle another quick tip if you need to keep something cold what i do is pour a little bit of like in its example creamer in the bottom of the jar place that in the freezer, let a little bit of it freeze, then top the rest off and it will stay cold for hours. I stacked my plates upright in a Dollar Tree napkin holder in order to conserve space and to be easy and to be able to easily access the plates. I have a ton more tips on this bar, but I'll be sharing that in a separate video, so this video won't be too long. So what was your favorite thing about this video? Was it the drinks? Was it the setup? Was it the DIYs? So make sure that you head on over to the other ladies channels. I think I'll be heading over there too uh, because I haven't seen any of them either and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and until next time I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys!